What's going on everyone? It's Rich Lux and in today's video, girl, you won't believe the drama. Rich Lux exclusive. Okay, I am super excited for this video because one of my favorite fashion houses has came out with a freaking lipstick. I am shocked the price was pretty expensive. I think most of us are spending around $18 to maybe 20 some dollars for a lipstick. This was actually up there in price. I think it was around 60 something, which is kind of high price. The only other lipstick that I really spent a lot of money on is this one right here, which is the House of Salage. Some people, everyone pronounces it differently. But what's special about this one, oh, before y'all come for me, I have the Hermes lipsticks right here in my hand. We're gonna unbox them, we're gonna swatch them. I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about in awe. This one was a gift from Michelle. So Michelle, if you're watching this, I love you so much. Very quickly, this video is sponsored the house by Surfshark VPN. You guys, I use Surfshark VPN whenever I'm in a public Wi-Fi space or I'm at the airport or I'm in like a public Wi-Fi, like a Starbucks. I switch on my VPN so I can surf the web privately, anonymously, so no one can see what I'm doing. I also feel like it's really cool if you wanted to watch Netflix or stream any type of like video services that you stream from other countries. So for example, if you wanna watch a hottest show that's overseas, you can switch on your VPN, change your location, and you can watch stuff from over there. But what I really like it for is whenever I'm shopping online, I switch it on, so it doesn't know what I'm looking at, so it can always get the best deals. Cause you know, sometimes they see you're looking at a flight and you look over another airline and kind of hike up the price or whatever. So definitely check out Surfshark VPN. I really do think you're gonna like it. It's very important to protect your online footprint, protect your bank account information and protect what you're looking at. So thank you again to Surfshark for sponsoring this video. I love you guys so much. Definitely check them out. Use my code link down below if you're interested to save some coins. So let's get on with the drama. Thank you for this. She gave me this one and this is a, a lipstick that's like really expensive. So this is, I would say up there, in price so, you know it is like a luxury lipstick right so it comes in its own little carrying case here and it comes with a little mirror and it's like so much it even comes with a little pouch so it comes with its own box it comes with its own pouch and it comes with this packaging a little cute bow and then you open it and then you twist and then here is the finally you get the product right there you see that so that that was literally the only really 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 high-end super mega like luxury lipstick i've ever owned so now Hermes came out with their lipsticks and I'm excited to show you. So I have a few here. Um, this was, this literally, this literally came out to around three or four hundred dollars just for this. It wasn't a lot. Not very much. It's not that many lipsticks. Here they are right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and just start. So it says Hermes Rouge up there at the front um, and it says satin lipstick. It is 0 0.12 ounces. And in the back, it shows you the ingredients. And I'll try to put the ingredient list up here for you guys. So the packaging is almost like a recycled cardboard, but it is very, very thick. And when you open it up this way, there's uh, nothing in there. And then you actually are greeted with the classic Hermes box. And that's super cute. I'm gonna let it focus there. So you do, get, you do get that black rim there. And then he just kind of pushes, just kind of push. And then see that? So I thought it would like open like a traditional box, but you just kind of push and then you're greeted with this, which is almost like a burlap sap. And that's, that's the only way I could really explain it to you. And I just kind of like push. And then here is the actual product right here. So is it worth it? And now I have foundation on my lips. So I have any lipstick on. So I thought maybe we can like try something on or whatever. In the bottom here, this is um, beige khaki number 13. And then here in the front, it's engraved with the actual, I'll see if you can try to see it with the Hermes H. And there you go. You can barely kind of see it, but it's there. Um, and so it is indented. So if you were to get like, um, what, if you wanted to make cookies or something, you kind of like make your own little Hermes cookies. So here's the packaging. It's very minimalistic. The design is very simplistic. So we're just gonna open it up. Um, I will say that it does have a magnetic enclosure. So it is gonna just snap right in place, which I really do like, because sometimes a lot of really high-end makeup just doesn't give you that magnetic enclosure, so I'm not sure why. And this, so you can see the component there. So you just twist up like you normally would, and here is beige khaki. Um, does not have a scent to it at all. So I thought we would put some, a little swatch here. So it is super creamy, it is very smooth, and there you go. All right, so, I think I'm gonna go ahead and um, 
move on to the next one there. Next up, I got the classic Hermes orange. Like on their website, they had on their website they had like typical colors of lipstick, like a little bit of nudes, a little darker lipsticks. And so this one really stuck out to me because it was like that classic Hermes orange or tangerine. Some people are very like specific on what you call it. And I was like, why would somebody want a lipstick that color? But I was like, I love it. I love weird out of the box things. So that is the color. It is meant to match perfectly with the box in the bag. So if you ever shop at Hermes and you have like their bags or their boxes, it's basically the same color. So I'm gonna give it a swatch here, which is kind of interesting because most people wouldn't have this orange on, but if you're doing like a fashion runway, very avant-garde look, then I could definitely see someone wearing this. And there you go. Next up is one called Rose. I'm kind of excited. I think I'm most excited about this color here. So I was actually looking at, when I was on the website, I was like, okay, let me buy as many as I can before they get sold out super quick, right? And I was kind of scared that is, that I wouldn't find one that I could actually use like every day. So I think this one is something that I could actually use for my, my look. And it's Rose. And I'm just gonna swatch it here for you guys. I mean, it's really nice. It has like a sheen to it. See how it just kind of like, see that sheen? It's almost, I don't know. Is this the most luxurious lipstick in the world? That's the question. Or is it like, girl, you can get the same thing at the drugstore, girl. Like very much that, you know? But so far I am liking their super colors. But at the same time, I also wonder like the Hermes customer, are they gonna appreciate this lipstick and embrace it? or would it be a hard pass? That's really the question. At the end of the day, you guys are the ones who vote with your dollars. That's truly what it is. If you like something, you will buy it. If you don't, you don't buy it, and the company's like, oh, wait a minute, I guess they don't like it, and they take it off the shelf. Next one is Rose in Scenes. I think it's a little bit of like French in there, so I don't wanna like, I don't wanna like mess up the name hardcore. So here we go. So this one, Let's see what this one looks like. These packaging is really nice. This kind of honestly burlaps that really girl. Okay, so here we go. This one I really do think I could use every day, but I'm not sure. Let's see how it how it performs. Do I have any room? Okay, I'll put it right here. Hopefully you guys can see. Oh wow. Okay, so that's what it looks like so far. So the colors to me are very safe, right? So if you're gonna come out with lipsticks you kind of basically want to do like a safe color you want to cover all your nudes all your naturals and so far i think they're really doing good i think this one a lot of people can use and then especially you can go to evening with some of these colors up here i have one more i have the last one i was able to get my hands on now that i look at it, i should have got more but they were like really expensive. I was like, whoa. Okay, oh yeah. The color on this one is going to be Rose Lipstick 40 Satin. So there's a lot of rose names in the collection and I guess they just want like that rosy lip, right? I will say that the packaging is very heavy and I would say it's heavy because of the component that magnetized the top to the bottom. Like that. So yeah, and it's, it's a very hard shut. So it's not like a soft one. It's really gonna click. Yeah, so here's the last one here. And oh, I remember this one. I believe it's like a classic red. I think this is like their, you know how every kind of, every brand has like that classic red lipstick? This is it. So let me see if I can just find some room and put it right here. So here is that red. And I'm gonna like, there you go. So there you go, it's a classic red. And then you have these. So these are the colors that I picked out so with a total of one, two, three, four, five, five Hermes lipsticks, and it came out to almost around $400. So, I mean, I'm, I wanna do the work so you don't have to, so you can kinda see which one you like the best, cause it is kinda get, it is gonna get expensive if you were to buy the whole entire collection. I think that most people would just buy the color they feel they would use the most. So if you feel like any of these, I, and I got these, I feel like these are the most practical. So yeah, and this one was the most fun, the orange one there. So I really do like them. I don't know, I'm trying to think which one I'll use. I'll probably use this one out of all of them as like every day, this one right here, because it kind of matches me a little bit actually. But yeah, so um, let me know what you guys think about all that drama about the Hermes lipsticks. I will say I, I kind of enjoy that it's not um, scented. I do, I really do love scented lipsticks, but at the same time, 
sometimes it could be like just overpowering so i kind of like that's not scented but it did, did come on very smooth and it does have like a sheen to it but yeah uh, i don't think i wouldn't classify these as matte though Oh, it's, it's like a satin finish on most of them there, but it's pretty nice. So anyways, I'm going to let you guys go. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment, rate, subscribe. Let me know what you think about all that Hermes drama. And let me know if I should do an Hermes boxing because some of this stuff is full and I haven't unboxed it yet. So let me know if you want me to do an unboxing, okay? Again, thank you for watching. It means a lot, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. I love you so much. Rich Lux Exclusive.